In this project I wanted to produce a solo film using the basic equipment I had, mini, mini tripod, which later was replaced by a gorilla pod because it wobbles, a flip minnow HD camera, basic computer and Nero 10, and natural daylight as well as the house lights. The plot centres on Elle. She's been unwell but is determined to enjoy her day and it follows her reactions to receiving a single card amongst the junk mail, highlighting the little gems which make life worthwhile. I wanted to create a personal, rather enclosed or claustrophobic atmosphere using close-up, low-angle and point-of-view shots with a few wide-angle shots to provide more context. The lighting was aimed at enhancing this effect and in general I think the aims were achieved. Pre-production required careful planning of the storyboard sequences and the many mise-en-scene pieces and props, as well as setting up the camera for solo shooting. I saw setting up and framing shots of myself as a major problem. During filming, this proved to be the case. Also, clips were long due to the fact I had to go backwards and forwards to the camera and zooming in on myself meant I had to zoom in on the camera. I also had to adapt the storyboard and adjust nighttime lighting. Post-production proved to be the expected nightmare. I selected and edited each clip and finally created an edit I was satisfied with, but on playing back just a few clips in the sequence on the timeline, the processor was working at almost maximum capacity and the Nero software closed repeatedly with a note of serious problems. I accepted the offer of an Apple Mac and the assistance to use Final Cut for my rather simple edit. This enabled more flexibility with sound, but was a compressed and humbling experience with the usual rendering, codec, frame rates, internet connectivity and uploading issues. It seems that ultimately, whatever the quality of the footage, the final film can only be as good as the post-production process.